Howdy folks and welcome back to the channel. So I'm out just going for a walk around my neighborhood and I'm going past this bush section and you wouldn't believe it, I've come across this lawnmower. It's a Victor and somebody just dumped this thing on the side of the road. So let's have a closer look at this thing. So I just can't believe it folks. This thing has just been left, dumped on the side of the road. She's an old Victor two-stroke Power Plus 160cc two-stroke electronic ignition this is just too good i mean this thing can't be dumped on the side of the road so what do you reckon folks should i take this thing home should i see if it'll start should i see what's actually wrong with this i mean why has this been dumped on the side of the road in this day and age you know people are complaining they've got no money but they just seem to toss things away i bet there's nothing even wrong but anyway we'll get it home let's find out what's wrong with it let's see if she'll run all right so just got this thing home and let's have a closer look at it Got a few leaves and crap. Obviously, it was sitting out in the bush there. I don't even know how long it had been sitting there for. I hadn't seen it before myself. But, um, yeah, let's have a close look. Got a bit of a something sitting there as well. You know, look how long this grass is. If I can get this running, I might even cut the grass with it. You know, let's have a look in the fuel. See if it's got any fuel in it. Probably a good start. Nah, it doesn't have any fuel in there, so we'll have to put some fuel in. And um, then what we might do is start by checking the spark, put some fuel in it. If it's got spark, put fuel in it, and see if she'll run. All right, so I just mixed up some fresh two-stroke. Mix it up at 25 to 1 ratio, because that'd be the right ratio of oil to fuel for uh, this old Victor. Just splash that in there. Try to get it in the hole. All right, so oh, just for a laugh, should we just turn it on and uh, prime her up? And let's see if she'll even start straight out the box. All right, so clearly we've got an issue. You know, I've put fresh fuel in there. I've primed it up, but she won't start. So as I said at the beginning, let's start by checking the spark. Let's check if we've got actually got any spark happening here. All right, so let's get this spark plug out. Oh, you can see that spark plug that is really really wet with fuel so it actually looks like it's probably a little bit flooded to be honest anyway let's um let's pop oh and the boot the boot's a little bit broken there as well on the old spark plug but let's put that on there now i could hold the spark plug onto the crankcase just to earth it as I'm pulling the cord to test the spark, but I've actually made up this double-ended lead, which you can see here, and we'll use that to actually connect to the motor like that, and we'll connect to the plug, and then hopefully you will be able to actually see really clearly if there's spark or not. I'll just get you into a position, get into a position where you can actually see. Oh yeah. So we've definitely got spark. All right, so given we know it's got spark, let's put the spark plug back in. And I will point out, I noticed that it was very wet when I took it out. So we'll then have a look at the fuel side of things and have a look what's going on just in the front of the uh, carburetor where the float is. So I'll just get that spark plug back in. All right, so let's get this carburetor pulled apart. Just turn that fuel tap into the off position. And then I will pop that fuel line off, maybe. Doesn't really feel like it wants to come off. So I don't want to tempt fate too much. Let's get the front of the carburetor off with the float.
Oh, and straight away, did you see how much fuel came out there? That thing was absolutely chockers full of fuel. So let's have a look at what needles actually in this float bowl. All right, so that's the float. Look, it actually looks like it's in reasonable condition. We've got the needle here. So that looks like it's one of the original Victor plastic needles and she's rounded off on the top. So my guess is that this is actually flooding because the float is simply not being able to close that needle and stop stopping the fuel filling up, filling up in there. What I'm gonna do before I put it back together, I'll just give this a quick clean up. So I've just got some throttle body and carby cleaner. I'm just gonna clean that grime off around the outside of that front of the uh, carburetor there where the uh, float attaches. Just get it nice and clean. And I will spray a little bit through the needle as well. Just to make sure we've got the needle absolutely clean. Because that front screw that holds it all together is dual purpose. It's also the needle for the carburetor. So I've just blown a little bit of air through that as well. So to solve the problem of this carburetor flooding, I've picked up this metal magic needle by a little company by the name of Veritech. Now I've used these needles before in my moles. You may have seen some of my other videos on Victors. I'm not sure if this is gonna work, but I'm gonna pop this metal needle in because I certainly think this carburetor looked like it had flooded there. And then I've also picked up a new rubber O-ring because that one looked like it was a bit perished that came out. So we'll pop those in straight away and give it a go. All right, so the first thing that we will do is to put the new rubber O-ring on. Now that's not really gonna change the performance, but it is going to stop any leaks. And then we'll pop the new metal needle in. Just pop it in like that. Obviously you put the pointy end in. And then the next thing we do is to reinstall the float. You just slide it on like that. Now the trick is, when you're putting it on just to hold that float up, just like that, with your finger, so that it doesn't fall off when you're putting it in. So we'll just install that in straight into the carburetor, like that. Get that horizontal. And then as I said, the needle is actually the screw which holds this little carburetor together. Then we do it up just, just firm. No need to over tighten it. So with that new needle installed and the carburetor reassembled, we switch the fuel back on, give it say three primes, and then let's see if she'll start. All right, folks, so I've given it a couple of pulls and straight away, you can see that the primer bulb is just leaking fuel straight out and you give her a push now and she's just squirting fuel at the side. So it's clear to me, folks, that we actually need a new cap for this carburetor as well. So I'm gonna get one of those and we'll pop that in. All right, folks, so hunting around the shed, I don't have a brand new primer cap for a Victor, but I do have this one, which is in a bag, which is a second hand one. Now from memory, this had a leaking primer bulb, but who knows, maybe this will actually be good enough to get it running anyway. So let's get this one on and give it a go for now. So let's get the old one. We will have to get this fuel line off, so it does, really does not want to come off, but it's gonna have to come off, so. <clears throat> Come off the other end, but not off this end. There we go, finally. And we'll get this cap off. This one's pretty dirty, so I'll just give it a 
quick clean. In actual fact, what I'll do is I'll take its rubber O-ring off, give it a decent clean with the carby cleaner. All right, so we'll put the new O-ring onto this secondhand primer cap like that. We shall pop the needle in to this cap and we'll pop that float on like that, just perfect. And then we'll pop that straight in to the carburetor, just like that. And reassemble it with the needle jet there, which is that all-in-one screw that I was talking about before. Make sure that's roughly horizontal. All right. Just need to put our fuel line on. This has come off, back off the fuel tap. So get that on there like that. And pop this on and on. Should be good to go. So what do you reckon, folks? Do you reckon she's gonna run now? We've got our metal needle in. We've got the secondhand primer cap. Bit dubious from memory. Leave a comment below. Is she gonna run or not? Well, only one way to find out. Let's give her a pull. So there you go, folks. What a stunning mower picked up off the side of the road. Look at her there. I've just cut the grass front and back in this section. It's done a brilliant job. And to be genuinely honest, I haven't even tipped this lawnmower upside down yet to see what the condition of the blades are in. But you can see by the way it's cut the grass that they're in good condition, but I will do that just to check that they're safe. But if you have liked this content, folks, do feel free to like, share, and subscribe. I've got plenty more videos fixing up small engines, big engines, working on the cars, and around the house general DIY. So like, share, subscribe. Till next time, have a good evening.